Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from Madeira Vlog Moments. Today I am going to share with you some cruise packing tips. Welcome back guys. So we are going on the Carnival Sunshine very soon. We probably have already gotten back by the time you see this, but then we will have vlogs coming your way, sharing with you all the adventures and all the fun, which we're so excited about in the middle of winter going on a cruise to celebrate my husband's 40th birthday. But today I'm going to share with you some packing tips. Those experienced cruisers, please leave your comments down below in the comment section of your packing tips so we can help the other travelers out there. I love hearing your tips and suggestions. The very first one is carry on wisely. So pack some of the must have items that you can't live without in your carry on. Now, if you haven't been on a cruise before, it takes your bags a while to get to your room. Now you don't carry everything on with you. You just bring a few bags with you or one bag and the rest of them arrive to your room. Make sure that in your carry-on is your passports and your documents, uh, any medication you may need, your valuables, so any jewelry, you don't wanna be packing those and then having them sit outside your room and not having access to them. I like to have some toiletries with me too, just in case it's a few hours before my bag arrives. We also carry on our kids stuffed animals, they carry them on, and their uh, blanket, their favorite blanket, so they have that as soon as they get on as well as swimsuits. That way, if our bags don't arrive for three or four hours, we can go enjoy the fun. We have our favorites with us, so we need to have them later. And then we also bring a change of clothes. So let's say our bags don't arrive before our early dinner that we have planned that night. We have a change of clothes if we need them or if we spill something. So that's my suggestions with the carry-on. Number two, know your dress code. Not all cruises have formal nights, and even if they do, you don't have to adhere to them. But if they have a formal night and you wanna get all dressed up, know that if they have them or not. Usually the longer sailings have two, shorter sailings usually have one. When we went on the Disney cruise, they had a pirate night. Now they gave eye patches and like a pirate scarf type handkerchief you could put on your head or your arm or around your neck. But if you knew it was going to be a pirate night ahead of time, you could plan and bring pirate gear. So my son was Captain Hook, and so we were able to have him all dressed up. We brought glow bracelets, and it's a lot of fun. Number three, you want to pack light. Now, I'm always surprised I don't use as much of the stuff that I bring with me, but just make sure that you don't pack everything. Think about how many days there are, and if you have to, you can do laundry while on board. So number four, bring some of your own toiletries. The cruise line usually, I think every time I've been on it, has some toiletries. But I find the conditioner isn't the best for my long hair or the body wash isn't my favorite scent. So make sure you bring the stuff that you really need. On the Disney cruise, I love all of their toiletries. But um, you just wanna make sure you plan ahead because buying that stuff on board is extremely expensive. You don't wanna have to do it. Number five, save room in your suitcase for souvenirs. You may think, I'm not gonna buy anything, we don't need anything, but there's always some fun stuff. And so make sure you leave a little bit of room or bring like a duffel bag or something that you can put in your suitcase so if you need that extra space. Number six, pack the basics. Now we could do a whole video on just what should you pack on a cruise. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna know all of the stuff that we're packing on our cruise. And if you do, then I will do that video. Uh, but you may want to bring an alarm clock with all the different time changes you're going to be going through. You can't always rely on your phone. We always bring Ziploc bags. Sometimes we get some souvenirs or seashell here or there. Um, or if you're taking some cookies off the buffet for your room for later that night, it's nice to have a Ziploc bag to put them in. If you need Tylenol or Advil, you want to bring those things with you because it's expensive in the shop if you need it in that last minute. Uh, as well as sunscreen and batteries. So make sure you pack those things. Think through what would I need in a situation <laughs> and make sure you have those. Uh, number seven, I think I kind of covered it with your carry-on, but make sure you keep your documents with you. Don't pack them or you're not gonna be able to get on the ship. And number eight, you also want to bring any drinks you're allowed on board with you in your carry-on and not pack them. You need to check with your individual cruise line and see what do they allow and what do they not. But in my experience, you have to bring that in your carry-on. 
Let me know your packing cruise tips in the comments down below. Love to continue this discussion and I cannot wait to share with you guys all about the carnival sunshine coming up and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.